Hi, I'm Riya Dashorya. I'm a Google Developers Group organizer and a Women Techmakers Ambassador for San Francisco and Cloud San Francisco chapters. I'm also a Senior Software Engineer at Quizlet. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use Chrome DevTools to improve the accessibility of your website. Accessibility is the practice of making sure that your website is available and its functionality can be operated by literally anyone. Web content accessibility guidelines are set around four main principles, known as POL, which guides that a website is perceivable. Can the users perceive the content? Is it operable? Can users use the content and navigate through the website? Is it understandable? Can users understand the content? Or it's confusing and robust. Can it be used on various browsers, screen sizes, and work with assistive technology? Chrome DevTools can help you with accessibility via three ways. The first one is Audit via Lighthouse. You can do this by going to the website that you want to audit preferably in an incognito window so that any extensions and whatnot you have does not affect the results. Now right click on the website and click on the inspect element to open the DevTools. In DevTools, click on the Lighthouse tab. This tool is powered by Xcore library behind the scenes for accessibility. It will show you various configuration options. There, you can select accessibility from the list of categories, along with the device that you would like to test it for. After that, click on Generate Reports, and in just 10 to 30 seconds, DevTools will provide you a report that gives you various steps about how to improve accessibility, list of tests that passed successfully, tests that were not even applicable, along with that, it will also provide you a list of tests that you need to manually check for. In this example, as you can see, I have a score of 97. There is insufficient color contrast ratio between the background and foreground color. It also specifies the exact location where this is happening, which is so very helpful as you are debugging. Unfortunately, DevTools cannot help you test if you can navigate through the website using keyboard or screen readers. But if you scroll down, it provides you with the list of things that you would need to manually check for. For example, in this case, it is mentioning that you need to check for logical tab order and interactive elements are keyboard focusable or not, and many more. This report also shows you a list of past tests like ARIA attributes match their role or ARIA attributes have valid values and so much more. And if you scroll down more, the audit also lists things which are not applicable to your site. For example, access key values are unique, elements have accessible names and more. This lighthouse tool helps you view a snapshot of how much your website is accessibility compliant and where you need to focus on. The second way DevTools can help with accessibility is by displaying the color contrast ratio while using color picker. To view if the color contrast is accurate, you can click on the elements tab and select the element that you want to inspect. Next, in the size pane, click on the right side. Click the color squared next to the element's color value. Check the contrast ratio section of the color picker. One check mark means that the element meets the minimum recommendation, and two check mark means that it meets the enhanced recommendation. There is also a line in the visual picker. If the current color meets the recommendations, then anything on the same side of line also meets recommendations. And if the current color does not meet recommendations, then anything on the same side also does not meet recommendations. You can move the color selection to see the difference in the color contrast ratio. The third way Chrome DevTools helps with accessibility is via the accessibility pan. This provides information about how screen readers will deliver the content 
and this is where you can view the accessibility tree, ARIA attributes and computer accessibility properties. To start with, open the dev tools. Then click on the elements tab and select the element that you want to inspect. Next, click on the accessibility tab on the right side. This might be behind more tabs button. There, it shows the relevant and useful information that is used by the screen reader. You can also view elements ARIA attributes to ensure that screen readers have all the information they need to deliver the page content to the users. And then there is computed properties section, which shows a list of all the accessibility properties, which were computed directly by the browser. You can also view full page accessibility tree by checking enable full page accessibility tree and clicking on accessibility icon under the elements tab. This will provide you with the order of how screen readers will navigate through your website. Accessibility is very important for a website. An accessible website equals a good user experience. Making a website accessible is the right thing to do. And I hope you can make accessibility reviews a part of your dev process. And this video is helpful to start with improving the overall performance of your website. This is all for now. Like and share this video so that many more folks can get started with accessibility. And subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. Thank you.